Hello lovelies, I hope you're well. I am often asked so many times, how do I stop my negative self-talk, my self-criticism, the voice of fear that, that makes me hesitate what I'm going to do, that, that over-occupies my mind in an unhelpful way. Because sometimes that voice can be helpful, so I'm not saying there isn't a place for it. It's like everything, there's a time and a place for everything. So you know, imagine that you're going to do a presentation. Now, let me tell you about presentations. Guess what the number one fear is? Public speaking. So there, there, is, there is no wonder we have that sense of vulnerability, that sense of exposure. So, and also a sense of wanting to protect ourselves and the mind can show up with well I hope I don't stammer I hope I don't get a dry mouth I hope I don't trip up when I get up to, to do my part I hope I, I hope I um, don't forget how to use the clicker you know all those kind of things that your mind is hoping you don't do but let me just share with you something about the mind it does not process a negative until the end of the sentence. So let me praise that the way that your mind would process it. It processes a negative at the end of the sentence. So when you're saying, I hope I don't stammer, your mind is hearing, I hope I stammer, don't. <laughs> it's a bit late because it's already putting into process everything you ask for. Because your mind thinks that you want everything you think about because it's, you know, your conscious mind is taking over the steering wheel and navigating you. You know, just imagine if you asked a friend to do some shopping for you, and on the shopping list you had strawberries, bananas, no grapes, um, no oranges, shampoo, conditioner, no toothpaste, no nail files. Your friend would probably come back with what? Everything on the list, because your friend would think, well, that's not an exhaustive list of things that you don't want so therefore I imagined you did want it. So what you can do to stop the negative self-talk is first of all make a commitment to yourself one of I'm going to be my very best coach in my mind running alongside me as I'm doing these things that I dare to do. The second thing is, if your mind has got the time and the space to have that conversation, then that is, first of all, habitual, so it might be happening without your full awareness, it just might be used to saying those things. So we need to replace it with a new habit, don't we? A new sentence that works for us that's positive, that's factual, such as, um, I can trust myself, I am pre prepared. Another one can be, I know that they're going to love me. Another one can be, um, I've got this. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't need to be more than one, but you just say it over and over and over and over again in your mind that you're being fully supported. So you're going to recreate a new uh, habitual thought that is more positive and more resourceful for you. You're also going to be your own very best guardian and coach. And another, another tip is when you visualize the very thing that your mind gives you the negative self-talk over, when you visualize it going exactly the way you want it to go, then that's, as far as your mind is concerned, is inevitable. So we need to put into our minds the settings that we want, not the default settings or the habitual settings, but the settings that you want. So lovelies, I hope that's helpful. Let me know how you get along and have a lovely day.